just want to take a quick moment and clarify something I said in a video a couple weeks ago about red alders and their ability to synthesize atmospheric nitrogen from the air and put it into the soil so trees like these western red cedars here can grow. Now in that video I made it sound a little bit more simple than it actually is so I wanted to take a moment to talk about it because red alders here um, form a symbiotic relationship with a bacteria in the soil known as Frankia which invades the roots and lives within those roots and that fixes atmospheric nitrogen from the soil into ammonia which the trees absorb so that they can use that um, ammonia to get the nitrogen to create chlorophyll or chloroplasts which are is a key ingredient for photosynthesizing which is where they get all their energy and generate those sugars and then they drop those leaves in the fall and those f leaves then decompose and return that nitrogen to the soil now most leaves or most deciduous trees when they lose their leaves they suck all the um, you know the chlorophyll and all that nutrients out of leaves before they drop them that's what changes or what causes the change in colors but alders when they drop their leaves they basically just drop them green because they're like yo f it yellow i can get more nitrogen and make more chlorophyll next summer so i'm not worried about it but then this leaf as it breaks down it returns that nitrogen to the rest of the forest pretty neat